concerned parent here. I'm at the uh, Dollar General parking lot in Orem, North Carolina, Robeson County. And uh, I have a great vantage point. I can see my daughter's school and I can see that bitch ass deputy sheriff that's been a sheriff for 19 years. He's got one more year and he's retired. That, that not only uh, pulls security at her school, but that two other schools every day supposedly and i know that because last year my daughter when we first moved here continued to get stuff stolen from her get attacked all that stuff and uh when i finally went up there to figure out what was going on why couldn't the sheriff deputy sheriff put a stop to it he told me he's not even in school all day long he's got three schools to fucking patrol all day long and it made me wonder i'm like each school is like an hour away from each other like how much time does he actually spend Watching our kids. The only time I ever see that motherfucker is sitting up in the fucking office flirting with all the fucking teachers and stuff. So today, I, uh, I'm usually this time in the afternoon at uh, Fort Liberty in Fayetteville, North Carolina, teaching hand to hand uh, jujitsu or weapons strategies to real men that are defending our country. But I, I took today off, it's Thursday. They got like sergeant's time and stuff. So I, I decided to come to Dollar General and buy my wife some stuff. And then I was like, hey, I got a good vantage point at her school. And I looked over and I saw that deputy talking on his cell phone well outside the school, all the way in the fucking football field. And I was like, what the fuck? What phone conversation is that? But it doesn't work for the State Bureau of Investigation or the FBI. He's a fucking school teacher cop what conversation can people not hear why is he so far away from the school talking on his phone and then i kept sitting here and he's like he's been out there for well over 20 minutes now let's buckle up and see what the fuck's going on man why is why are we fucking trusting this motherfucker to watch our kids and he's in the middle of the football field talking on a cell phone for 20 minutes fuck him Check this motherfucker out, man. My daughter's school, there's one deputy, and he doesn't even stay at my daughter's school all day. He's in charge of three different schools, so he sucks. I drove by my daughter's school today, and he's been out here steady talking on his phone for fucking a long time. Let me zoom in. There was a car behind me, so I didn't want to stop on the side of the road and be filming a school for fil too long and looking suspect. But I mean just that. A car driving behind me noticed that I was filming this motherfucker longer than he fucking noticed. Now he's fucking finally walking back in school, fucking piece of shit. Damn, this motherfucker's a piece of shit. The fucking deputy who's in charge of Robeson County motherfucking Orem Middle School and two other schools spent the last 30 minutes talking on his fucking cell phone at the football field. Fucking asshole. Serious. And if you're a parent, I don't care if you're a parent anywhere. It doesn't even matter if you're a parent. As dangerous as this world is, that we have so many crazy people out there that are willing to go to schools, and the school resource officer, who number one, is supposed to be in charge of three schools every day, can't even stay inside the motherfucking school. He's got to walk out to the middle of a football school. Listen here, Deputy Doolittle or whatever your fucking name is, I don't care if your motherfucking boyfriend is about to dump you because you cry every time you hear a radio play your favorite Boys to Men song. It ain't more important than sticking your ass 
out there in the school and watching our motherfucking kids like you're supposed to. Don't get on your fucking cell phone and go out to the middle of a fucking football field to cry to your fucking boyfriend. Watch our motherfucking kids because I'm watching you.